what's happening this morning. We've got water runs going, but we also have our friend here with the tractor, which means we're digging holes for the solar array. we are back for round two of our solar panel ground mount. If you remember it last weekend, we attempted to start augering the holes for our ground mount. The engineering specs called for 12 inch diameter hole. They said we needed to go down seven and a half feet. So our friend Jason from Fact Totem Farms, he came over with his tractor. We got an extension for the auger because he already had the 12 inch. And so we started doing it and we realized that his tractor couldn't raise up once you added a four foot long auger and then another four foot extension, he couldn't raise his arm up on his tractor tall enough to actually get it out of the hole. I had lots of good suggestions about, well, could you drive it up on something? A couple other ways to get it out. In order to get a tractor that large up on something that high, we just, we didn't have that on hand and he had other things to do, obviously. He's got his own property he's working on. So we just called it for the day. We went back to the drawing board and we looked at the engineering specs again and we realized that if we went with a larger diameter hole, we didn't have to go as deep. So we decided to go with a 24 inch hole. So we had to rent a 24 inch auger and two on and this way we only needed a two foot extension because the auger's four foot so that got us six feet total we needed to go five and a half feet and he's got six feet of clearance on that arm to lift up so i think it'll work we're gonna find out here in a minute <laughs> it should be really close the biggest downside of this is that it meant we needed a ton more cement we had to buy I think we had 84 bags we had to buy another 154 bags so it is what it is you know what we got to get this done we've got to get these solar panels up so that when we finish the inside of the solar shed here we can just start putting in the inverter and the batteries and not have to wait on this because this is a big project so that's what we're going to work on hopefully this weekend i'm hoping that we can get these holes augered and then that we can get the pipes cut and then we can get everything set up and then start cementing things in and maybe even put some rails and panels on. I don't know if we'll get that far. We'll see. I think it's going to be a multi-day project, but we're going to keep working on it as much as we can this weekend. Also, I've got to give a shout out again to Fact Totem Farm. So there are neighbors and our friends. Thank you guys so much for coming out and for helping us. I know this is a huge project and we couldn't have done it without you. All right, let's get to it. I came from the Desert on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Hope they won't shoot me down soon Catch me howling at the moon
But still. They, they helped by keeping the house safe, right? Yeah. yeah sure. Okay. <laughs> you guys ready? I'm ready. Let's die. We got a dirty dog too. Night night. <laughs> We did go to three places. Uh, Only because we had to go to the grocery too. It's kind of getting ridiculous. We can't go to one place anymore. We all have opinions. Yeah. <laughs> when did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> all right, we had a successful morning. We've got all of our holes dug. Now, the tricky part is, is we've got to cut these massive steel pipes. So, Jason's actually coming back over. He's got a plasma cutter, uh, and we're gonna cut all those tonight. But for now, we've gotta lay these out and make sure we've got all of our measurements and markings perfectly, because we kinda got one shot at this. So, we're gonna double and triple check every single one of these measurements and make sure that we're right. And then we're gonna start stacking up our cinder block towers to set the pipes on and then hopefully we can get these pipes cut and then start doing cement tomorrow. Here's hoping. The next step before we cut the pipes is to go ahead and set up our cinder block towers, which will have a jack stand on it, which will let us essentially suspend the cross pipes in place. And then we can take the top cap, stick it on there, bolt it in, and then take the pier, which is the piece that goes down into the ground, put it up in there, tighten it up, and let it just hang down into those holes. And then that way it'll all be set up and then we can just pour the concrete in and it'll be good to go. Easier said than done, obviously. But, so we have a whole bunch of cinder blocks over here. I'm gonna start making some stacks in strategic places. Still gotta figure that out, so we're gonna discuss it, and then we're gonna get to it. Somebody put this in the wrong spot. So now we have to build it all over. This is the second time we've rebuilt. 
I think it's your phone. Is there something you want to say to me? I don't think it's a good idea to put it here, but... It's fine. Someone There's wants one to there. It. It's a different one. I know, but it doesn't <laughs> matter because the pipe was only hanging over like another three feet. It'll be straight. Okay. So what? What were you saying? Did I put it in the wrong spot? Yes. No. But we'll make it work. Good morning. It's the next day. Yeah, we finished around 9.30 last night. So we're back out this morning, but early, mm -hmm. and getting things done. So the first order of business is to get these post, the horizontal posts. The post, cross beams, the as they're called. The horizontal pieces. Um, get those leveled and to the right height. And like straight in the holes too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And get these iron ridge top caps is top caps called? yeah yep get the top caps on for the pillars that are going to go down into the holes the piers sorry i'm just i'm usually the one who doesn't name anything right for some reason i'm remembering all the names right now so i'm just gonna go for it and take advantage of it <laughs> <laughs> okay anyway we've already made one mistake this morning and it's only seven o'clock <laughs> So we're going to have to lower Ada in a hole to pick up a set screw that we dropped. Yeah, when you're <clears throat> putting these top caps on and there's a bunch of washers and nuts and screws. We've been really careful not to do it over the hole. Yeah, but then we were trying to adjust one and one of the set screws popped out and fell down yeah. in there. So we'll lower Ada. We're going to have to lower. That's about the only way to do it, I think, is just to lower Ada. We down don't have a magnetic plunge we thing. We should. Yeah, we yeah. should. Anyway, that's a small... So that's not a huge deal. We yeah. can figure that out. But the important part right now is we got to get this level, get these top caps on, and then go ahead and attach the piers temporarily. Mm -hmm. Well, not temporarily, but like... Attach them. Yeah, attach them. But then the problem is, guys, we did not get enough uh, jack stands. Yeah. Because we forgot, because we're connecting two cross piers together, we needed to support on both sides of that connection. So we needed... Surely one of our four neighbors. Four extra ones. I bet our neighbors have jack stands that we could borrow. Possibly, yeah. Um, anyway, so that may slow us down, but we're going to go ahead and get the front cross beam up and just so we kind of get a feel for how it works, and then we'll figure out the other jack stands. Didn't we so. also need an Allen wrench tool? Yeah, you're supposed to torque all this stuff to certain specifications, um, and we have a torque wrench, but we don't have... Uh, an Allen wrench attachment for a socket set. Never needed it before. Never knew that it existed. I never knew. I had to Google <laughs> it. Like I woke up this morning and I was like, wait, how do you, how do you torque an Allen wrench? And I looked up Allen wrench socket set and turns out you can get one, but I've never needed it. I don't one. know that our hardware store will have one, mm, but we'll see. We may have to go into a, a little bit town. larger <laughs> town. Uh, Anyway, first so, things first. Yeah. Top caps. We'll we'll work on the front line first and then we'll see where we're at. Cool. So like we said before, we have massive gaping holes here 
We've got a lot of little pieces of hardware, so we're gonna go ahead and put these on here over solid ground and then slide it over. So we're just putting it on really loose and we're actually doing it upside down just so it's a little less awkward. You got your washer, your lock washer, and then your nut. Keep it loose, babe. Keep it loose, babe. Also, we're paying attention to where these set, what are these called? Set screws. Yeah, so we want them on the inside because if they're on this side, our panels are gonna be in the way because our panels are gonna overhang this post. It would be hard to get to. It'd be really hard to get to. Keep it loose, Ben. Just gotta get it on. It's not loose enough, Ben. And then we just slide it in the post. Sit, sit on, on the, edge. the edge, and we'll just push you in. <laughs> Here, you hold one hand and I'll hold Oh, actually, I think I can jump in. No. No. Okay, ready? Ready. Okay, this isn't too bad. Get all the stuff. And I was like, this is not right. Nine Nine, what is she doing? Nine Nine, hi. <laughs> it smells like dirt. It smells like dirt. <laughs> Nine Nine, look. look You're gonna have to lift me out. Okay. Help me. You don't want to stay in there? No. Okay, next hole. Okay. Ready? Put your feet back. <laughs> He's like, Ada, are you okay? <laughs> she's okay. She's okay. I know. She's okay. He's like, why, yep. would, you, why would you put her down there? <laughs> Hi, puppy. I'm fine. Alright, ready? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm glad we have a little pin. <laughs> oh, she's okay, Nana. <laughs> We got everything we need. We had to go all the way into town. It's okay. We got it. So now we're going to put the piers in. You can see we put the first one over here. Put the pier in. It's going to slide up into that top cap. And then there's two set screws that will hold it in place. So it's just hanging in that hole. So we're going to get all of them put in. Then we'll come back. We'll adjust for level. Make sure that they're all uh, plumb and perpendicular and all that stuff. Uh, and then we'll tighten everything up to its specification. And then we're going to work on the back row. And then once we get that done, we can cement everything in. Lots of finessing and tweaking, a little bit of a process to get it going. Um, but anyway, so that's what we're doing right now. We're just going to put these in. We had one hole that blew out over on the corner, so it's not as deep. So our pipe's a little bit too long. So I'm going to have to get in there with some uh, post hole diggers and kind of get that a little bit deeper where the, where the pole goes down. Anyway, we're going to time lapse it. All right, we got the first crossbeam up. Now we gotta work on this one, which is much taller and will be a little bit trickier, but I think we can do it. Understand the signs if you're 
Alright guys, this is the end of the video. <laughs> because we're done. For the day. For the day, because we're so tired. Yeah. Two days. Non-stop. All day. Yeah. So. So we, we, we dug the holes. Yeah. We got all the pipes cut. Uh-huh. We got everything set up in parallel Everything's, and level. Yes. And set in place. Uh-huh. Which was probably the most difficult part. I thought that would take like an hour or two in the morning. Turns out it took the entire day. We, we had a few things we had to do. Yeah, we had to go into town and get some supplies. But yeah. still, like, I thought an hour or two. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Well, and also we're just... We just really wanted to make sure it was right, because right. like once this goes in, it's very permanent, mm -hmm. um, and so we just wanted to take that extra time and triple check all our measurements and and check again. Yeah, we gotta spend an entire day at some point this week filling all these holes with four pallets worth of cement. Right, because all those piers are just sort of dangling there yeah. in the holes. So we wanna we wanna make sure we get that in as soon as we can. And but, of course. Yeah. This week, it's supposed to rain almost oh, oh. every day. But I think it's just like afternoon showers. So. Yeah, but like we haven't had rain for how long in the, yeah, t the time that we need to put cement in. But it might be better for it. It might cool things off and yeah. then we'll just get to it. Yeah. Let's get this shit done. Can we have a shirt that says get this shit done? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Guys, <laughs> we will see you next time.